Let's dive into Fusion 360 workspace. First of all, let me tell you some of the notations that I will be using throughout the course. A left click of the mouse will be referred as click. Right click of the mouse would be referred as right click. And the middle one as middle button or roller. For executing operations like rotate, pan and zoom, I have to keep the mouse clicked on and move the mouse and release it only when it comes to the desired location. Double click on the Fusion 360 icon to open. Fusion 360 environment will open. Your screen can be like this or can be like this. I'm just showing and hiding the data panel. In the data panel, you can see all the components that one designs in Fusion 360. This might be just empty for you if you are just starting up. You can close the data panel. So here is the workspace. In this workspace, you can see the different icons which will help us to sketch and draw many items that we are going to see in future. Now I request you to pause the video. Please download a part that has been given in the downloads link below. Once you have downloaded this part, you can upload it here using the following procedure. Now you can go to data panel and go to upload. Once you click that, you will get an option to select the files. Browse here to the location where you have downloaded it. Then click on upload. close this. I have already downloaded it and opened it in my file. You can close the data panel. Do not worry on how this part has been designed now. We are going to design much more complicated components very soon. So this part has been taken only as a reference so that we can understand the tools given over here well. First of all let us see the browser. In the browser, the first part that we have downloaded here, the title of it appears. Next, you can go to this document settings. You can expand it by clicking on this arrow. Here you can see the units that have been used. If you want, you can change the units and you can see all the dimensions of this component in those units. So here I am sticking to millimeter. Next, you can see I have named views. That is, there are some views that this component already takes. Like when I click here, I can see the top view of it, front view of it, right and home. That is usually the isometric view. The same views that you see here are also available in this cube. You can click on the top and using this arrows you can navigate to other views also. When you click on home we are going back to isometric view. Next is the origin in the browser. So here you can see the most important thing is this bulb. This allows us to show or hide any entity in this environment. So these are the this is called the body. So if I'm switching off the body I won't be able to see it. So I can again click on the bulb to make it visible. So here in the origin you can see I'm switching it on. I have three planes X, Y, Y, Z and Z, X, C. How they're getting highlighted when I'm just placing my mouse on cursor on them. So this is the origin point and the others other three are axes and these are the planes. So this component has been designed using some sketches. So here are the list of the sketches that this component has used. Let's see the below components. So here we have orbit. This is how we are going to navigate and move this part in this workspace. The first one you see here is the orbit. So this allows us 
on clicking on this if you see I able to rotate this component in this orbit we also have constrained orbit then we have look at tool what this look at tool does is I'll just click on this and you can see in whichever plane I want with respect to that plane I will be able to see the component that is parallel to that plane now when I click control and middle button I am able to pan it or I can even click on this pan button similarly for orbit I can click on shift and middle button so if you see the look at tool once again we can see that we can click on this plane and then say look at so that we can view this object parallel to this plane next is a zoom tool when I click on the zoom I can either increase the zoom or I can send it back which I can do even using the roller button on the mouse then when I click fit it will come exactly into the screen so if I have gone very far away by zooming rotating or panning I can just click on this fit button so that I can bring this model exactly into the middle of this workspace then you can see here in the display settings we have visual style called shaded that is this whole component is shaded I can switch to wireframe in which I can see the other lines in the wireframe again I can make it with hidden edges or with visible edges so now the, all the hidden edges are hidden so summing up this section let us see what we have learned if you have any doubts you can leave to me in the comments from the next video let us start designing and building something in Fusion 360